Hi, this is Paul, and this is a very quick video showing one of the new features in the next release of Octane Render for Poser. Uh, the release I'm showing you is release 1.02Q, which should be available in the next week. Um, the feature I'm showing you is the new sunlight system. So with Octane 1.02, uh, there was a new sunlight model, which I think has blown everybody away, as well as some post-processing. Um, that means that um, using new sunlight model is even more advantageous. So the existing Poser plugin for Octane Render has a bit of a clunky sunlight control mechanism, and I'll show that to show that to you now. So when when you see the sunlight at the moment you've got to control X, Y and Z coordinates which is a very very difficult way of uh, controlling the sunlight. So with this new release which is 1.02Q when you first run the plugin for a scene it takes the first infinite light and renames it to daylight. So you see this infinite light here is called daylight. So that is the infinite light you can see I'm moving there in the OpenGL uh, viewport of, of Poser. So 1.02Q, this version, picks up on the rotation of the daylight in Poser on a live basis and updates these figures as you go. So um, in order to do this, we to, to give you a demonstration of this, we open the viewport. So we've got the viewport here. Uh, that sun's a little bright. Um, let me just turn the sun down just a touch. So we can either have, for, for global scene illumination, we can either have a texture environment, which is a HDIR, or we can have the daylight model. So when we select the daylight model now, the model automatically defaults to one, which is the new daylight model. And the sun direction is taken from the direction of this sun here. So you'll see the shadow in the OpenGL viewport matches the shadow in the Octane viewport. So as we move this around, you can see the sun is moving on our octane viewport so we can go basically anywhere and it follows and you can see the results are absolutely fantastic so if we have the sun um, first thing in the morning then you get the nice um, dawn type hue color and then directly overhead it becomes very white and then as we head into the afternoon you'll see that you get these absolutely fantastic sunset e effects. Now you can see here you can even get the sun into the image which just gives a dazzling result. Now I'll move this across to show some of this. So the you'll see the sun here is part of the new the uh, the glare is part of the new post-processing features that were added with Octane 1.02. So um, you can control the power of the glare effect. Um, you can control the power of the bloom. Probably gone overboard there. You can control the number of rays. So we can have lots and lots of rays. Uh, the angle and, and the amount of blur. So you can get all sorts of different effects. Now you notice that while I've been changing these, the render hasn't restarted. So these are all post-processing. So it's using the uh, light information that has already gone into the render and it's not, not causing a restart of the render. So um, they're pretty, pretty dazzling effects. So it's a very, very quick uh, demo of one of the new features that is going to be 
uh, available in about a week with the Poser plugin for Octane Render. Thanks for listening. Bye.